The intent of this video is to show you how to set up this uh, security system. It's really easy, but I figured I'd walk you through um, every step. Um, I'll leave out some of the more complicated stuff that I won't be able to fit in a 10 minute video um, for this review. Um, so just keep watching and I'll uh, go through it step by step. Step one is essentially just making sure you have all the equipment needed. I don't think there's going to be any issue, to, but just uh, double check and make sure you have everything that should be included. The next step is to either install a hard drive or just to make sure you have one included. Now this kit does come with a one terabyte hard drive, so a simple check will just allow me to confirm that that's the case. There's two screws on the back of this and it just comes out. And as you can see, this is a Toshiba um, one terabyte hard drive. For step three, all you need to do is plug in your monitor of choice, whether it's going to be HDMI or VGA. Uh, you also want to make sure you have an Ethernet cable running uh, from one of the four LAN ports on your wireless router um, and make sure that's plugged in. You want to plug in the USB for your mouse and then you want to plug in the power uh, cable but don't plug this one into the wall just yet. We'll do that at a later time. For step four you can go ahead and plug in um, all of your cameras just to make sure that they are in working order and uh, are receiving signal. I would not mount these until you find out um, you know if the camera's working. There shouldn't be any issues but I would just highly recommend you make sure you plug them in to somewhere easily accessible while you do the setup process. Step five is to uh, go ahead and plug in the power to the uh, security cam system. The reason why you want to do this last is because there is no um, on off button it's just when you plug it in it turns on when you when you unplug it it turns off um, there is a way to turn it off once you're in the system but for now we can go and plug this in since everything's ready to go and uh, then after that we'll wait for the uh, initialization screen so you'll get the screen whenever you plug it in for the first time alright now if things were set up um, you would you would have your uh, cameras turn on here, here, and here. So you can see the uh, the camera pretty much automatically um, turns on, and this is live for um, the first time turning on. So if that gives you any indication on how easy this is to install, um, I don't know what else would. But I'm going to set this camera down because this is our test camera and that's just going to be on my floor. The quality by the way on this um, screen is really good. So yeah, uh, since this one did come with the uh, hard drive pre-installed, you don't have to format it where typically you would want to format it and partition it if need be. Um, but since it's pretty much pre-installed, all you really need to do is plug it in and it's ready to go. Um, so there's really nothing more to do at this point except for to add more cameras. If the hard drive wasn't already pre-installed, you would get this setup wizard and uh, it would walk you through the app download um, and some other information and the hard drive information. But you don't have to worry about that since the um, app was or since the hard drive was already pre-installed. So for the question and answer portion, I'm going to cover some of the questions you might have um, and I'll only be able to cover a few of the main ones due to time constraints on the video. So the first one is, how do I add more cameras? Well, the easiest answer to that is simply plug it in because they will automatically come on. Um, and I don't think you should ever have to worry about this, but in the event you do, you'd want to go to Video Manage and uh, you'll see what's connected down here and what's not connected. So i got two connected, two not connected. I'm going to go ahead and delete one of these cameras just to show you. So you can see uh, this camera is not connected anymore. You have a preview option to kind of see um, what camera it is. And really just to add it, you just double click it. The next question you might have is how do you play back and save video? Um, there's a video playback option um, for like an automatic search of 5, 10, and 30 minutes. And you can select those, go to the channel, since this is a five minute playback, you can uh, scroll through your five minutes and you have the controls down below. And it also works with the 30 minutes too. If you want to do a manual search, you simply go to the manual search option 
um, select the camera you want. So let's just say we want camera two. We search it for the date and the time. Uh, you can see the uh, 8 o'clock hour here, and you can just kind of guesstimate where it's at. So you got 8, 10, 12. You just want to play it back there, and you have the same controls, and that's how you play it back. So to back up video, it's the same as playing video back. Um, it's very similar controls. You just uh, select the video, uh, your record mode, whatever you have it set to, your time. Once you do a search, it'll pull up all the uh, the begin and end time, so it's has these segmented videos. And you just select what you want, um, and then once you have your USB stick in the back of the um, uh, security system, you'll just click the backup button and it'll save it to a flash drive. So it's pretty easy to use. So another question you might have is how do you set up the uh, re recording of each of these channels? With the system um, settings menu, you have the uh, record setup button here. Um, and like for instance, most of them would probably be time. So 0 to 23.59 is 24 hours a day. You select the channel and uh, apply the time. It's automatically applied. But if you want a channel 1 to be motion detected for whatever reason, you could just unselect that and do motion. And to change these motion controls, you would want to go to your channel setup down to video detection and uh, you can do an area edit so for instance if I just wanted to um, do motion controls just for this area right here uh, you could select it and save it um, and this can be used to set up email alerts um, and all kind of things so it's very helpful to do another question you might have is uh, how do you change the name of the, the channels here so this is set to cam1 you can name it like front yard or whatever you have and that's um, how you give it a more personalized feel. There are a lot more options here. I wish I had the time to discuss them all but a lot of it is self-explanatory. So the last question, probably the more important one is um, how do you use the mobile app? Well there's many apps that you can use. I believe the QR code that you're given goes to uh, this EasyNet app and uh, really to add a camera it's very simplistic you uh, load up the app, um, you go to your add a device, you name it, you add the device ID which is on the lower right uh, hand side of your screen. Assuming you don't have a password you just click save um, and then it'll add it to your device list which I have there. Um, the other app is exactly the same if I can get out of it um, which I kinda like the other one a little bit better um, and I've, you can see I've already had the device added on here um, and there is an add button on there, uh, this one as well but uh, once connected it pretty much just pulls up your live feed as well um, but this one works exactly the same way um, just add it and uh, yeah it's very simple to use and you can uh, once you have these set up you can view them from anywhere um, I will say though uh, it's like streaming HD video so if you're on a mobile network it will use your data so I suggest you use it from Wi-Fi whenever possible. But that's how you use the app, it's very simplistic. Hope this helps. I couldn't put everything that I wanted to in this uh, video due to the 10 minute time limit um, but I just want to say this is a really good system. The camera quality is superb. I mean for the price that uh, this system costs, I mean I'm really impressed. And, and from my end, I can see a lot of the detail in this video. And for instance, um, this room right here is, uh, is dimly lit at best, but on this it looks like a bright room. Um, and I can assure you it's not that bright, so the low um, light uh, that this camera picks up is just great. Um, and as you can see, it's super, super simple to set up. Um, and, and most of the stuff I didn't cover is self-explanatory. There is some more in-depth network things, um, but it's pretty much all taken care of for you if, if you don't want to go in that uh, in-depth um, with this system. So it's literally plug and play. I hope this helps you. Thanks for watching.